Did you know that in over 90% of the cases when you use an electrical device you always use a transformer? They all have different shapes and sizes, but what they mostly do in your device is stepping down a high sine voltage, like your mains voltage, into a smaller sine voltage. This way your device can create a stable DC voltage by rectifying it. Aside from this awesome function, it also creates some loss during the transformation, which might be a bit too much to explain right now. But there's one unwanted effect which you can clearly hear when there's a big load attached, or even a short circuit in my case. It is called 50 Hz hum and it is referable to the frequency of our mains voltage. Now the question is, do other frequencies work as well? Or even music? So in this video, I will find out whether such a transformer can be used just like a speaker. Let's get started. I started off with this E and I section of the iron core of an old high voltage transformer that I once salvaged from a microwave. Then I grabbed some 0.65mm and 0.5mm enamel copper wire which should at least withstand 3 amps for the thicker one and 2 amps for the thinner one. I used 3 folding ruler and a small water level to create a similar shape like the middle section of my iron core. And now I can start the super fun part, which means I created two coils with 100 windings each and one with 250 windings, just to have a bit of variation for later. Let's start with 250 windings as the primary coil and 100 windings as the secondary coil. It's also very important to create a completely closed iron core to enhance the magnetic flux which increases the efficiency and power limitations. If I use a 25V peak sine wave as an input, we get around 10 volts at the output. So it works as a transformer. And as expected, the 50Hz hum still exists. So where does it come from? If we take a closer look at the iron, then we see that it is not a solid material. It is made of slices which are isolated to each other to decrease eddy currents. And for better understanding, let's firstly find out how a normal speaker works. We can see that there is a coil which moves a former back and forth due to the polarity changes of the magnetic fields which it creates in the middle of magnets. This moves the cone in the frequency of the input signal and creates the hearable sound. And our transformer is kind of the same. The coils also create a changing magnetic field, but here the magnetic forces on the iron lets the slices vibrate. This is due to the air gaps between them and the rather big air gaps between the E and I section of my core. If we would build up the amplifier that I made for a previous video, then we could easily drive a speaker with it. But a transformer is a way bigger inductive load and needs a bit rougher treatment. I went with the simple but quality lacking end channel MOSFET with a big heatsink as an output stage. If I hook up my frequency generator to it, then we can see that it actually works with frequencies higher than 50 Hz. Now it's time for the final experiment. I hooked up my music player, crossed both fingers and it did work. It actually is the loudest with no load attached to the secondary side and by using a coil with less windings. I also moved the eye section a bit around to create all kinds of different sound patterns. But just listen for a bit. It may not be a useful speaker, but it's definitely a lot of fun to play with and we learned a bit about Transformer.